हाय गाइस दिस इज सूर्या एंड वेरी वेलकम टू द गेम दिफ टॉक्स आज हमारे साथ है नीतीश राय ही इज अ एस ओ मैनेजर एट यूजू गेम्स इंडिया सो होप वी लर्न समथिंग न्यू फ्रॉम दिस पॉडकास्ट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द पॉडकास्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट सर प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ yeah so uh, ha surya so uh, i am taking care of the uh, complete organic growth so in terms of organic growth i am taking care of the uh, complete aso uh, for yuzu india so uh, till now uh, i am taking care of near about you can say uh, more than 10 games so before starting the podcast i briefly explain what is aso app store optimization in a simple way we say it technique used to increase our organic downloads we use lot of tools there we used analytics in everything we discuss in this video so watch till the end taki sab cheeze clearly samajh aa sake so the first question is what is aso how you define it and what type of tools you are using to increase your organic downloads so uh, but basically is a uh, app store optimizer just like a seo if uh, somebody knows about the uh, seo that is only work for uh, google search but yeah it's the same thing in play store and app store that is called aso so uh, whatever optimization going on in the play store and app store just like a uh, uh we need to target our competitors first we need to understand our competitors uh, market let's say uh if any of the competitors uh, are in the top charts so you need to understand what kind of keyword uh, uh they are ranked what kind of keyword they are targeting uh, and uh, which uh, keyword are deriving maximum traffic so in the market lot of tools uh, they provide uh, this kind of data so in terms of um, aso tools i am using a multiple tools so there is no uh, tool in the market who is like perfect in the market but yeah you can take a just a estimation basis so every tool has their own specialization so i use multiple tools even uh, mobile action i used uh, app tweak i use the uh, tool so uh, and also for research and um, uh, like uh, game analysis purpose i am using sense setup so um, each and every uh, tool has their own expression as i told you so you can understand your competitors what your competitors are doing in the market let's say if uh, my competitors are running any kind of uh, ab testing in terms of uh, icon experiment so i need to check what kind of uh, icon experiment they are running and uh, if they did any kind of localization for any of the market let's say in india we can uh, localize uh, you can say uh, more than 5 uh, to 6 language in the store front in the english marathi tamil telugu so that is already available in the play store so you can localize your store front in multiple languages also you can target uh, local keywords in their uh, store front so your uh, local audience you can say a regional audience they can understand your store front let's say in south india uh, tamil and telugu uh, they are understanding very well uh, in terms of yeah. hindi or english so you can uh, like connect uh, that kind of audience to uh, target a local ad- local localization and you can easily localize your store front through um, graphically or you can uh, localize your store front through uh, text way so you have a lot of scope to optimize your store front even aso help you to improve your uh, uh, presence in play store and app store so if somebody is searching for any of the uh, uh, related keyword and any of the competitor keyword let's say i'll give you example of the ludo so if you are searching mm-hmm. ludo uh, for even if you are searching for um, in hindi or if you are searching for english so you need to understand what kind of audience are searching for ludo let's say i am getting a traffic from english us so you need to target uh, you need to target also you can uh, make your strategy based on your competitors and based on based on your uh, high traffic keywords and difficulty level so this like just like i'll give you example uh, ludo traffic is very high but you can target a ludo games uh, free ludo game or maybe you can say a free ludo games 
so you need to check which keyword have uh, maximum traffic and what is the difficulty of that keywords so based on that you can take a decision yeah where i'm going to put my keyword let's say uh, i'll just uh, basic understanding uh, uh, title uh, short description and full description they have a different different uh, weightage so uh, title have a maximum weightage then your shit is uh, short description then your full description this is the like as per industry um, uh, like uh, experts they said yeah this is the standard so you can target high traffic or low difficulty uh, keywords in your title and then uh, secondary uh, less uh, uh, traffic and less difficulty you can target in the short description or you can target um, like phrases of that keyword you can your uh, uh, full description and in same way uh, in ios is that totally different so you only can target uh, uh, keywords in your uh, uh, title uh, subtitle and keyword section so this is the scope you can target your uh, audience in uh, ios so this is how uh, you can uh, target keywords uh, with different different uh, platforms and whatever like let's say this is not about this like a uh, putting a keyword and uh, change the graphics this is not about iso you need to understand your uh, storefront as well let's say uh, if you are getting any kind of uh, uh, traffic from uh, search and what is the conversion rate of the uh, explore then based on that you can make your strategy which keyword you are getting a traffic and which keyword you are getting a maximum conversion so based on the conversion you can make your strategy yeah this is a relevant um, uh, traffic i am getting from particular keyword searches so this is how you can target your target your audience and you can optimize your store front all our great points and hope viewers also learn something new from this and if you are with us till the end of this video you learn a lot from his experience my second question is how ab testing increase our organic downloads and how you are doing ab testing to increase your organic downloads and initially what is ab testing yeah so uh, basically what exactly ab testing so in play store we have a control to run a ab testing let's say uh, if uh, uh, i want to try a new uh, graphics in the play store uh, sorry uh, play store so uh, first uh, before going to live any of the graphics we need to test uh, my graphics if my audience are uh, liking that graphics or not so let's say uh, i'll try uh, one one already existing screenshot plus my uh, new screenshot so that is called ab testing so uh, let's say uh, uh, i'll target uh, 20% audience to my new uh, creatives and 80% audience my uh, existing creatives so if if you are getting any kind of positive uh, response that features already available ab testing experiment features already available in the play store but yeah that feature is not available in the uh, app store but yeah next maybe you can say after a six month after one year app store also going to release a, a new uh, a feature ab testing feature in app store as well so they are not live right now but yeah there is a, still in the uh, beta or you can say uh, beta testing so, but yeah this is how it's work you can try uh, multiple uh, short description you can try multiple uh, full description ab testing you can try icon experiment you can try a uh, uh, video experiment you can try a feature graphics experiment you can try uh, a screenshot experiment so this is how you can optimize your conversion rate so how uh, let's say you are getting a uh, one lakh impression in a day but you are not able to convert them as a uh, installs in that mm. case you need to run a lot of um, uh, ab testing to improve your uh, audience visibility so then you can check uh, so till now uh, what i had till now so till now i did near about more than 1500 experiment so uh, for one game so this is uh, like uh, yeah to improve my visibility so improve my conversion rate so this is how you can optimize uh, your storefront to run ab testing lot of ab testing is not a one uh, single way so now comes to the policy part of ios and android 
So according to you, what are the important policies we have to know about them before using ASO? Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of policy in the Play Store and App Store. So as as I uh, as uh, till now, so you can target uh, copyright keyword in any of the way in the Play Store and App Store. So you can't target uh, copyright content in terms of graphics, in terms of text, in your Play Store and App Store. Even there's a lot of things like let's say you can't use uh, uh, promotional uh, text in your uh, icons. That's like a free new 2020 kind of uh, and text in your as per current policy but people are using mm. but that is uh, we need to upgrade in future but uh, yeah this is a current policy we can't use free uh, new 2020 any of the way in your icons you even uh, you can use uh, landscape and portrait uh, screenshot in your play store uh, screenshot so that will help you to increase your visibility so couple of policies also uh, you can't uh, use uh, similar kind of uh, uh, similar kind of icons uh, in any of the way in the play store and app store even um, you can only use your original content uh, with the help of promotional text so that is a uh, uh, policies in terms of policies there's a couple of policies you need to understand so this is the like basic policy you have to understand before going to update any of the store front. Now comes to the last part of this podcast. So, sir, what you advise our viewers? Okay? These are the most things you have to know about them. Yeah. So, uh, if uh, if somebody uh, already knows about the ASO, if anybody uh, new in the ASO, first they need to understand the, what their competitors are doing. Let's say what kind of tools are um, like providing which kind of uh, information. Let's say I'm using App Will app week to just uh, check uh, my competitors research uh, what kind of keyword they are targeting what kind of a b testing they are running what kind of uh, what is the, their visibility score in play store and app store and what is the feature graphics and how we can optimize our storefront uh, so in keyword tracking i am using a sensor tower to track each and every keyword what is the daily basis uh, keyword ranking and also for i use mobile action as well to just uh, add intelligence and uh, keyword uh, research uh, for keyword research purpose and if anybody like uh, i first need to understand your competitors research let's say you need to identify uh, how many uh, competitors in the market uh, you need to target let's say uh, if i give you example of uh, pubg so uh, pubg is already a big brand they already rank for a lot of keywords. If you want to target a PUBG, first you need to understand uh, what uh, what kind of keyword uh, PUBG uh, getting a traffic. Let's say they are maximum getting a traffic uh, from PUBG keyword, but they also getting traffic from other uh, like shooting games, uh, FPS shooting games, this kind of keywords as well. So first you need to understand, you can't target PUBG directly, but yeah, you can use uh, other keyword, let's say, uh, FPS shooting game, uh, you can say uh, shooting games and uh, like uh, this kind of keyword you can target in your uh, storefront. So how you optimize your storefront, then you can check. Uh, you need to try a multiple variations or uh, storefront. Let's say first you target a low traffic keyword, then you target a high traffic keyword, then you target a middle, uh, uh, middle traffic keywords. So then you realize, yeah, which kind of uh, strategy works for me. Let's say if somebody getting a, a 20 to 30,000 installs per day, in that case, you can target a middle level uh, keyword traffic. If you are getting a more than 60 to 70,000 installs per day, so you can tra target a high traffic keywords. If somebody um, uh, getting a maybe five to 6,000 installs per day, in that case, you can target a low traffic keyword, but then slowly you can increase your visibility to low to middle to high. So how you can make your strategy to increase your visibility but yeah you have to understand your store front let's say uh, you are getting a lot of uh, crashes a lot of nrs uh, you are breaking a lot of policies that is also uh, uh, like uh, like decrease your app visibility in play store and app store so you need to very careful about the whenever going to update any of the store front let's say uh, uh, you need to check your uh, uh, description, like description uh, length is near about 4,000. 
characters so you can target as many as keywords you can way you can uh, create your content a smart way you can target misspell keywords you can target uh, let's say uh, uh, whenever you are going to release any of the worldwide game you have to localize your your, your storefront as many as uh, languages so you can target uh, i think you can say more than 30 to 40 languages to target let's say uh, if i have a uh, racing game so uh, mm-hmm. everybody is playing a racing games so you can localize your storefront to multiple languages let's say in india english uk english us english australia portuguese saudi uh, arabic language uh, uh, turkey uh, you can say spanish you can say russia japan so chinese in the lot of languages you can uh, play store apps supported you can uh, translate them you can optimize them you can uh, get lot of visibility it will take time maybe uh, one or two month but yeah after one or two month you started getting a visibility once you start getting a visibility you can start getting a downloads if you start getting a downloads you can start getting a revenue as well hmm. so thanks a lot for coming on this podcast i really learned a lot from your experience thanks thanks sam thanks so much and i have one question for my lovely audiences what do you learn from this video what topic you like up most kya samajh mein aaya is video ko dekhne ke baad कमेंट करना बताना कि इस पॉइंट पे मुझे ये चीज़ समझ में आए वो इस वजह से ताकि जो और भी लोग कमेंट सेक्शन में पढ़ते हैं उन्हें मालूम चल सके कि इस पॉइंट पे ये चीज़ एक्सप्लेन की गई है सो so, मिलते हैं अगले वीडियो में कुछ नए लोगों के साथ और कुछ नए कॉन्सेप्ट के साथ तब तक के लिए बाय